Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and we have a lot to learn. So let's get started with our key words. The first one here is treat. Treat. My boss treated us to dinner. She paid for everything. Our next keyword is mall. Mall. Deb doesn't like the mall because it has too many stores. Ride. Ride. Do you want to ride in my car? Ticket. Ticket. Matt can't find his ticket. Now he can't go to the movie. Theater. Theater. If we go early, we can find a good seat in the theater. Row. Row. Let's sit in the back row. Then we can see the movie better. Choose. Choose. Do you want the red hat or the blue one? Choose one. We hope that you choose to say these key words again. The first one is treat. Treat. Mall. Mall. Ride. Ride. Ticket. Ticket. Theater. Theater. Row. Row. Choose. Choose. And now, friends, I choose to go and find out what today's mission will be with our friend Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Hello, Eddie. Oh, okay. Today's mission, right? Yes. Yes. That's right. Okay. Good. I know this one. <laughs> Here it is. Today's mission. Where does Roger want to sit for the movie? Where does Roger want to sit for the movie? That is our mission. Should we choose to accept it? Let's go and find out in today's lesson. I'm so full. That was great food. Yes, it was. Thanks for treating us, Grandma. You're welcome. Where are we going now? We're going to Miramar. What's that? It's a mall. No way! I love malls. <laughs> we know. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Andrea, I think it's time to teach. Okay, Gabe. Well. What are we waiting for? <laughs> What are we waiting for? Let's teach. Hey, that's a useful phrase. What are we waiting for? That's what Patty says at the end of this conversation. What are we waiting for? When you want to do something, when you want to begin something, you can use this phrase. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's start. Let's begin. Well, friends, let's begin and let's go and look at this key word. The word、uh. is treat. Say it again, treat. When you treat someone, that means you pay for something that they are eating or something that they do. You treat them. Yes, it's always nice to hear the words "I'm treating you." That means another person is paying for. What you eat. So, Grandma is treating our friends to something today. She's going to pay for them. You can use this word in a phrase like this: I will treat you to something. I can treat you to dinner. I'll treat you to a movie. You can also say it's my treat. Here, the word treat is a noun. If something is your treat. That means you are paying for it. That's right, and it's Grandma's treat today. They are going to a mall. Let's look at this word, mall. Mall. 
A mall is a very big building with lots of stores. A mall. If you like to go shopping, then going to a mall is a good place to be. You can shop at many different places at a mall. That's right. Do you like malls? I do like malls. Yeah, you know, Patty likes malls too. Is that a Ferris wheel on top of the building? Yes, it is. If you want to, we can ride it later. I want to. <laughs> okay, but first, let's get tickets for our movie. We're seeing a movie too? Yes, we're going to the IMAX theater. Cool. What movie are we watching? You'll see. <laughs> Well, Patty is having a great day out. She is doing many things. I can see why she is excited. Now we know that Patty is at a special mall, but Gabe, why is it so special? Well, this mall is very big, and the reason it's special is because there is a big Ferris wheel on the top of the mall. And Daisy says that if Patty wants to ride it. She can ride it later. Well, friends, let's learn this keyword together. It is ride. Ride. Now, when you ride something, that means you sit inside something that is moving for a short time. That's right. You sit inside. If someone is driving a car, then you can ride in the car. If you're riding a bike. You can just say you are riding a bike. You don't say I'm riding in a bike. You can say I'm riding on a bike. That is true. Or you are riding on a scooter, or even riding on a horse. Well, Patty might ride on the Ferris wheel. Now that does look like fun, but it's also a little scary, isn't it, Gabe? Yeah, it looks like it might be a little scary. But something that's not scary is this movie. They're going to get some tickets. That's true. Roger says, "Let's get tickets." Our keyword is ticket. Ticket. A ticket is usually a piece of paper that you pay money for to get inside a place or to do something special. Yes, you need tickets for different things. You could need a ticket for a movie, or if you want to go to a park or a concert, you might have to have a ticket, and you need a ticket to get into the IMAX theater. That's true. You have to show your ticket before you go into the theater. Our keyword is theater. Theater. A theater is a place that you go to. When you walk into a theater, you sit down and then you watch something like a movie. Hello, we would like four tickets for the 2:30 IMAX movie. Okay, where would you like to sit? Can we sit in the back row? Sure. You choose your seats for a movie theater here. That's different. Yes, every ticket is an assigned seat. Interesting. Can we also buy tickets for the Ferris wheel here? Yes. How many would you like? We want four tickets, please. No problem. Well, friends, our friends from Hualien are going to the movie theater. They're going to watch something, and they need four tickets. We have found the answer to our mission here in this conversation. The mission is: Where does Roger want to sit for the movie? Where does Roger want to sit for the movie? Roger wants to sit in the back row. He wants to sit in the back row, and row is one of our key words here. Let's learn that together. Row. Row. When things are in a line, you can call that line a row. Sometimes, if you see a line of chairs, 
then you can call that a row of chairs. That's right. When you go to a movie theater, you look for your row of chairs. You have to look at your ticket to see the name or the number of your row. Sometimes you can talk about a row of houses. If you are walking down the street and you see many houses in a row, that is a row of houses. In our conversation, Patty learned something that is different in Taipei. When you go to see a movie, you get to choose your seats. In America, you do not choose your seats before you go to the movie. But we can choose to learn this word, choose. Choose. When you choose, that means you make a decision or you pick something. You choose it. So when you choose your seat, you decide where you want to sit. There are many seats that you can sit in, but you can only choose one. Song time. To Miramar. What's that? It's a mall. No way! I love malls. We know. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Is that a Ferris wheel on top of the building? Yes, it is. If you want to, we can ride it later. I want to. <laughs> okay. But first, let's get tickets for our movie. We're seeing a movie too. Yes, we're going to the IMAX theater. Cool. What movie are we watching? You'll see. <laughs> Hello. We would like four tickets. For the 2:30 IMAX movie. Okay. Where、well, would you like to sit? Can we sit in the back row? Sure. You choose your seats for a movie theater here. That's different. Yes. Every ticket is an assigned seat. Interesting. Can we also buy tickets for the Ferris wheel here? Yes. How many would you like? We want four tickets, please. No problem. Calendar phrase. Andrea, I have a question for you. Yes, Gabe. 
What are you doing tonight? What am I doing tonight? Well, Gabe, that's a great question. I'm going to relax at home tonight. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good. Uh, you know what else sounds good? Looking at today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. The phrase um, today is, "What are you doing tonight?" What are you doing tonight? If you want to ask somebody what they are doing tonight, what they will be doing later, here's a good question to ask: What are you doing? Tonight. Well, what are we doing right now? Well, right now, Andrea, you, me, and our friends are going to watch today's calendar phrase skit. Let's go. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Is class over yet? I can't wait to go home. Me either. What are you doing tonight? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably watch TV and study. What are you doing tonight? I'm playing a game with my family. We always play games on Wednesdays. Really? That sounds fun. What are you doing tonight? You're welcome to play a game with us. Thanks, but I need to study. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Well, I know what we're doing right now. We're going to go and find out what the question of the day is. Andrea, are you ready? I am ready. Eddie, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, go ahead. Give us the question. Okay, here it is. Where do you like to sit in a movie theater? Why? Where do you like to sit in a movie theater? Why? I like to sit in the middle of the movie theater. I'm not too close to the front, and I'm not too far back. It's the perfect place for me to sit and watch a movie. Good answer, friends. What is your answer? We want to thank you for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye.